morning. Sun is mega, mega bright this morning. Looks like it's going to be a fantastic day. So we'll see if M's here, shall Out we? Out on the TM, feeding around. Must be here somewhere because there's sick rides here. Remember isn't it? to like and subscribe to this video. It's straw party time. So we do these videos every single day. Um, I'm strawing up, feeding up every single day. And then there's always some mishaps, lots of banter. And yeah, we enjoy working here and I hope you enjoy watching. Nearly better than Andy. Yeah. Oh, I've done it, Anna. Made my first mess up with straw blower. Andy, I love this. Um, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> this is a bit that's wrong. I can't take all the blame for it, but I'm going to take a large portion of it. Andy bent it the other day, and it's been bent like before that and before that. But uh, yeah. When you lift the door up now, that catches onto this part here. Shouldn't do, should it, Em? Morning, Em, by the way. Morning. I think Andy's gonna say, Em. It's not looking for <laughs> It's not, is it? Mm. Oh, we'll have to just straighten it out for him a bit later. Yeah, a bit I, know. I never noticed. Don't anybody tell him. Yeah? Nobody tell him. It's our little secret. <laughs> just reversing the mixer wagon. Yeah, let's go, what it was called then. Into the silage clamp. Not doing a bad job there, I'm giving these guys some extra straw. If you remember yesterday, I couldn't get it right into the back, but give them a bit more than usual just to make up for it. Just to say, sorry cows. Sorry didn't get so much straw at the back and you all had to lay at the front. What am I on about, eh? Who knows? We've got McGuinness all the yard with the big daft today. 530 horsepower and um, he likes it better than the Scania. <laughs> the other McGuinness ones are only 500 horsepower, the Scania's. There it is. Tidy truck. Ah, Laurie looked like a baby. <laughs> Look, it's even got a balcony. Weapon. So I'm just on with starting a mix right now. There's not a lot we can do because the beginning solid is still in the way. Um, so just waiting for them to leave. And then we can get tractors out of the shed and stuff. And we're getting it from the wall yesterday on the left hand side, weren't you, Em? Getting it from that wall. Is that why that time's bent in that way? No, it's not really bent, um, it's a uh, loose. We might have to tighten that up. No, it's not bent, it's just loose. Bet you, it, you must have hit wall though. Definitely hit wall though. Yeah, all wall, wall hitter. Right now, me and M are pushing the tyres back on the tyres clamp and then M's going to roll the sheet back a little bit and oh cut it I'm not sure what she's going to do she can do either she can do what she likes so he's getting on there M should be weighing him off it's time yes. now to put on the muck trailer we're going to get some muck out. Um, of course, it's a bit of a drier day, isn't it? And we've got somewhere to take it. Um, so that's what we're going to get on with. I might just try and straighten that uh, Teagle thing up first. Oh, give give it, it a try, see what happens. Oh. I'd say it's not perfect light, but it's better. Where it's been catching on this side as well as that side. And then obviously just 
today it's not slid past, it's decided to bend itself. Fantastic. Wait, where have you been? I'm in difficulties. <laughs> so what did my dad send you to do? Pick trailer up. Alright. Yeah. Well, it's been a long time, haven't you? Yeah, about three hours. <laughs> It's been about half an hour, haven't you? What were you struggling with then? Right. Which I part? just couldn't get the thing in the oil. Alright. Oh, right. Like, I'm literally skimming it every time. So like, I won't fire off. I just won't go in, innit? Falling out either side. <laughs> then it's locked on, alright, and you got pipes on. Yeah, I got pipes on. Whoa, what? This is it! Took her that long, she's only done half a job! Can't get these appendices nowadays, you know. <laughs> Got it on for me. Looks like I'll have to put pipes on. Hey, look at this. What a star. There we go. All nicely connected. See it one load of muck dropped off here. Get back to the farm. Business. What are you here for, your dinner? No. <laughs> you especially come after, aren't you, so you yeah. don't get no stick? Yeah, because you're dead. <laughs> I'm telling you when you see him. Still a cup of tea though. Yeah. yeah. Just had my dinner and I thought, oh, I'll just have a walk down the yard. See what Em's doing. Ah, she's keeping herself busy. Oh, you don't need a gym membership today, will you, Em? No. 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 I don't no. get a chance to drive that 7530 much anymore. But it is, Em. Um, weapon. as it does on camera as it did in real life. Weapon 7530. All this muck that's here will get spread on this field, giving it back its nutrients that it's lost when we've took the crop off. Um, it means we've got less uh, man-made fertilizer to put on here. Um, it's getting its organic matter back. The worms will love it. They'll then aerate the soil. It's giving back to the field I suppose um, and yeah that's how cows sort of work in unison with growing crops if you didn't have cows then you don't have this ability to put this back into the soil um, so yeah don't, I can't think of a world without cows not good surely do this more efficiently couldn't we have we could have moved cows out and then one person could be mucking this out, but um, we're only taking a bit out in front. Rest can stop him for now. Hey guys, and you guys are really just intent. We need to straw this up after we've done this. So it's looking a bit mucky. Um, looking like they want to come onto here and just play around with it, don't you? But not yet. Not till the machines have gone, okay? Um, I've done it. Done. I've done it. Oh, all right. Oh, they were quite good and quite fun actually. So, uh, let you into a little secret here. I've had, um, I just had a little interview <laughs> with a, uh, a TV producer. So, watch this space. It's nothing too exciting, don't worry. But um, it was a, a nice interview and I've had a lot of fun doing it. And if it, this is as far as it goes, then that's fine with me. It's, it's been great fun. But if not, might see me on TV, maybe, possibly. Hey, who knows? <laughs> ah, starving. Do you like me seeing him back in your car? It's good, mind. You see what's cleaning. Does it? Oh, it smells nice in here. Ah. I'm hungry, I'm starving. Are you? Yeah. I think you'll survive for some reason. I think you'll survive. You only need to last two, two, wee, two or three weeks without water. I can live to about ten years without food. <laughs> Two, two, two or three days, isn't it, without water? For a fact for everyone there. Um, yeah, so are you coming tomorrow? I'll be about. I'll be about. Nice one! Mate, I'll go and, um, well, we'll just finish off now then. Me and them. Dilly, Get dilly. everything job done. I made it hard for you, I'm sorry. So we've just given um, Emily's, is it your tutor? Yeah. 
Yeah, like Emily's tutor at college a call just to try and clarify what uh, Em's actually going for on Wednesday. And it sounds like there's an external company coming in to talk to women. Uh, it's, it's Women's Week next week in agriculture. So they want to come in to talk to um, a woman in agriculture that's using technology. Um, so Em is going to go there. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Em's going to show him, uh, you know, how she uh, uses technology at our farm to produce better results with the cattle and stuff like that and probably talk about my GPS, yeah? That sound good? Are you going to be like super confident in talking about it? Uh, yeah. yeah, she's a superstar so she'll get it all sorted. So yeah, we'll, um, we're going to find out a little bit more about it later on in the week but um, that's no, really exciting for him, that's great. I just filled the mixer with the silage, straw, ready for in the morning so that um, just saves a little bit of time we're not having Andy yet it's half done um, is getting the bucket on I'm hoping she's going to fetch it down here drop it off and then um, to go put the JCB away in the shed I think she's struggling can we see concentration on her face <laughs> <laughs> maximum concentration And then we're nearly done. We're nearly done for there. I dropped that off in there. Um, no, nice one. I knew you would. What? Oh, just leave it there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, business today has been it's been an exciting day, hasn't it? Really. Has yeah. So like, Em's got a bit going to be happening next Wednesday. Yeah. Seeing the uh, well, we don't really 100% know what it is, sure what's but we know something's happening. But we know something's happening with technology, women in agriculture, um, and it only sounds good to me that. And I've had my little interview with the TV producer, which I don't really want to say much more about, but I'm just so excited and I just feel like I want to tell everybody in the world. So <laughs> <laughs> if you don't pay off, I'm gonna look a right idiot, but um. Yeah, if people want to have a guess at what that is, maybe um, hit us up in the comments on there. And uh, if you like our videos, remember to like and subscribe. But we will see you tomorrow. Mick's coming a bit later, I think, in the day. Yeah, he said he might be doing. Look at, look at Em's. Ooh, pick up. She loves loves Big Mick. Um, and yeah, Andy's not back, is he? No. No, Friday. Yeah, so see you later, guys. Goodbye. This is the outro, famous outro. Em's sick bike is now... Look at this. So go on, tell us what it's hard done. Right. All those sprockets, no bearings in every bearing, no seats. No seat. New forks at front. New forks. Look at that. Tire fixed. Yep. No punctures now. Yet today. Right, <laughs> right we'll see you later, em. See you in the morning. Goodbye. Wheelie. Wheelie. <laughs> Bye.